Dear students, welcome to Lyx's weekly MCQs. This is a new initiative of Lyx Lens IAS to ensure that you would boost your scores in the prelims. Henceforth, every week we will be recording Lyx's weekly MCQs, which will be based on the current affairs of that particular week. You can also download these questions in the comment sections of the YouTube. Let's start with the first series. The first question: Consider the following statements. This question is about the global hunger index of 2019 the global hunger index is published by concern worldwide and wealthy hilford the second statement gi report ranks india at 102 out of 117 countries so which of the statement given above is correct before we answer this let's try to understand something more about ghi ghi is an annual publication that is jointly prepared by concern worldwide which is an irish agency and welt hunger hilfe it's a german agency it considers three dimensions and four indicators what are the three dimensions one is child mortality which gives a rating of 1/3 child under nutrition that is one third and inadequate food supply that is one third so these are the three dimensions one is child mortality child un under nutrition and inadequate food supply and what are the four indicators one is under nourishment under five mortality rate stunting and wasting so gha which has four dimensions the first one is under nourishment so what is under nourishment it is a share of population without insufficient calorie intake the second dimension is child wasting that is the children's weight versus the height indicator this dimension is child stunting that is children's height versus the age see remember the clear difference between child wasting and the child stunting stunting is with respect to the height versus age and child wasting is weight versus the height next one is child mortality which indicates the death rate below 5 years of age so the second statement was ghi report ranks india at 102 out of 117 countries yes it is true but one alarming thing that we have to focus is india's rank over a period of like last 10 years it has been slipping very badly so in 2000 10 it was in the 95th position in 2019 we are at 102nd position according to this report india's child wasting rate was extremely high it is around 20.8% which is the highest for any country to have and with respect to the child stunting that is also in the alarming level of 37.9% so both options a and b are correct so the answer is answer c the next question is which of the following institution regulates the postal exchanges between one country and the other? the answer is universal postal union so why is this question in the news it's because us had a proposal or intention of withdrawing from the universal postal union okay but now the resolu i mean it has us has withdrawn its stance so united nation universal postal union is the one which frames the rules for international mail exchanges and it is the one which fixes the rates for international postal services so upu has the membership of around 192 member countries it has its headquarters in bern india joined upu in 1876 okay so remember the two important function of united united nations universal postal union so one is it will regulate the rules for international mail exchanges second thing it fixes the rate for postal services let's move on to the next question consider the following statements uh, regarding the sentinel 3 sentinel 3 world fire atlas prototype product has been developed by nasa See this fire at last is been developed by European Space Agency not NASA therefore option 1 is wrong Next that atlas uses the satellite data to plot the number of fires occurring monthly yes this is true So statement 2 b only See this is a sample image of the uh, world fire atlas so as we can know the sensors on the satellite will be using the thermal infrared radiations to take or to measure the temperatures of the earth land surfaces based on the heat emitted by a, by the fire it will go for the mapping the next question the term nelop toads greatly in news recently refers to which of the following it is a species of beetle so the answer is a so why is this a news 
a scientific associate of Natural History Museum, Michael Darby, being the fan of the teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg, has named the species that was found during 1964 and 65 by an entomologist called as William Brock from the East Africa. So this measures around 0.79 millimeters. They do not have eyes nor the wings. Just it has a small pit between where eyes should have been there. Next question, which of the following is the southernmost air station of the Indian Armed Forces? See, the answer is INS Baz. It is located in the Campbell Bay on the Great Nicobar Highland, the southernmost and the largest highland in the Andaman and Nicobar Highland series. Let's move on to the next question that is consider the following statement. He planted the tree of liberty at Sri Rangapatnam. He reorganized his army along the European lines using new technology, including what is considered the first war rocket. The above statements refer to which of the following ruler? So this refers to the answer B, that is Tipu Sultan. The other information that you need to know about Tipu Sultan is the first about the land revenue system. He devised a very detailed land revenue system by using the surveys and classification. And whenever a land revenue was supposed to be imposed, the taxes collected were directly on the peasant and collected through the salaried agents in the cash. That is, thereby he widened this state resource base. Along with the land revenue, he also modernized the agriculture. He gave tax breaks for developing the wasteland, built the infrastructure and repaired the old dams. Then, the other speciality of Tipu Sultan is that he also commissioned the state commercial corporation that is to set up the factories. Being a great warrior, he has also fought the four wars against the The next question, the term IBA 100 in news refers to brain atlas that has been found by uh, International Institute of Information Technology in Hyderabad. This is the first ever Indian brain atlas that has been created by using the MRI scans of more than 50 individuals of different genders. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statement with respect to the National Pension Scheme. This NPS was launched in 2004. Basically, it was launched for the government employees. Later on, it was extended to the corporates, uh, non-resident Indias, etc. So, the first statement is... PFRDA, that is Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority, is a statutory authority established by an enactment of the Parliament to regulate, promote and ensure orderly growth of NPS and the pension schemes to which the Act applies. Yes, so this statement is correct. So one is correct. Second, and any Indian citizen between 18 to 60 years can join NPS. So remember the key here is, it is not 18 to 60 years, it is 65 years. And an NRI cannot join NPS. NRI can also join the NPS. Okay. So the statement 2 is wrong. So the option is 1 only. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements. It's about mitochondrial DNA. Why is this question important? It's because recently a prestigious journal, Nature, claims to show that modern humans originated about 200,000 years ago in the region around northern Bastwana. So here the study has said that mitochondrial DNA where it was exactly present but it doesn't mention anything about the human genome origination. So because of this article the mitochondrial DNA is little important. So the first statement is mitochondrial DNA is a small circular chromosome found inside the mitochondria. Yes, the statement one is correct. Next, the statement two, the mitochondria is and thus mitochondrial DNA are passed almost exclusively from mother to the offspring through the Excel. Yes, so both the statement and two are correct. So the answer is C. The next question, consider the following statement with respect to the national health profile. National health profile is a biannual stock taking exercise on health of the health sector. It is not a biannual, it is an annual health stock stock taking exercise second it is prepared by central bureau of health intelligence yes this is correct so the answer is option b 
then what is this national health profile see this national health profile try to give a versatile database of the health information of india so that we will all be aware about the status of the health sector so here it tries to give the indications based on the major indicators so the first indicators would be around demographic indicators that is about the population and the vital statistics second is about the socio economic indicators that is education employment drinking water sanitation etc and the third would be about the health status indicators that is about the status of the or prevalence of communicable and non communicable diseases and then fourth one is about the health finance uh indicators that is about the health insurance expenditure or out of pocket expenditure that we are trying to make on the health and fifth is about the health related human resources that is availability of man power working in the health sector and sixth is about the health related infrastructure that is details of the medical and dental colleges or aish institutes nursing courses and the paramedical courses so these are the broad categories based on which national health profile will give the highlights so moving on further let's try to understand what is a 14th report of national health profile will say according to it life expectancy which was around 49.7 years during 1970 to 75 has increased to 68.7 years then infant mortality rate has considerably declined and it is at 33 per 1000 life births then population growth rate there has been a constant decline in the birth rate death rate and natural growth rate also and coming to the demographics we have a population that is less than 14 years of age is 27% 15 years to 59 years is 64.7% and greater than 60 years is 8.5% so we can say we have a high incidence of young and economically active population and the total fertility rate is around 2.3% for the country Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statement: The device will help to provide information related to the disaster warnings when fishermen move away from the coast beyond to ten to twelve kilometers. The device receives and transfers the data received from Gagan satellite to a mobile through the Bluetooth communication. The above statement refers to which of the following? That is nothing but Gemini. See, this Gemini is developed under Make Make in India under the. Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services that is INCOIS and Airport Authority of India have developed this device the world report on the vision is issued by so it is issued by world health organization remember world vision report is the first report that is being released by WHO it is released on the date of world sight day that is on 10th october moving on further let's try to understand what are the highlights of the report so according to this report there are around 2.2 billion people having the visual impairment or blindness out of whom 1 billion have a visual impairment that could have been prevented or that we can even now address it so the second highlight is this the aging population lifestyle changes and the limited access to the eye care particularly in the low and middle income countries are the main drivers increasing the number of visual impairment and we need around us 1.14.3 billion dollars to clear the backlog of this 1 billion people who are living with the visual impairment this is the first report that has been released by the world health organization it will be important for the prelims let's move on to the next question consider the following statement the lotus hr project is jointly supported by ministry of jal shakti government of india and netherlands organization for scientific research this statement is wrong because it is a joint initiative of department of biotechnology ministry of science and technology and the government of india with netherlands organization for scientific research this project aims to demonstrate a novel or holistic waste water management approaches that will produce clean water which can be reused for various purposes so this innovative project in a pilot mode has been utilized or it has been used in the bhara pula drain systems of new delhi let's move on to the next question which of the following are correctly paired kalamkari kalamkari is from the andhra pradesh so it's not orissa khosa sarees is from chhattisgarh this is correctly match ilkal sarees is from karnataka and chanderi silk is from the madhya pradesh so answer is b 
Let's move to the next question. Consider the following statements. Hem Haryali app was launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. This is launched by Ministry of Housing and the Urban Affairs. This app, yes, it will monitor the plantations in the government colo colonies. It will also give a geotagging of the plants so that the app by using the app, the nodal officers can periodically monitor the plantations. So answer is two only. Which of the following city has been designated by UNESCO as a member of UNESCO Creative Cities Network in the field of gastronomy? So recently, it is Mumbai which has been made as the UNESCO Creative Cities Network for gastronomy. See, UNESCO Creative Cities Network, that is UCCN, is created in 2004. So what does it basically does? It will try to create a network of cities which are thriving, which are active centers of cultural activities in their respective countries. Ministry of Culture is the nodal ministry of Government of India for all the matters relating to UNESCO. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements. Chawankat is a post-harvest festival of Kukichin Mizo communities and is, is being celebrated across the northeastern states. Yes, this is correct. Then, the festival marks the anglo Koki War centenary year. The second statement is also correct. Therefore, the answer is C, both 1 and 2. See, Manipur, Mizoram, Assam and other parts of the country, every year this festival will be celebrated as a thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest that will happen. It is celebrated in a great traditional gaiety and the enthusiasm. The next question, which of the following countries are not part of RCEP? Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership is a free trade agreement between the 10 Asian countries and the uh, six FTA partners that is free trade area partners so in this Pakistan and uh, Sri Lanka were not part of a RCEP now even India also moved out of the RCEP so the answer is one two and three let's move on to the next question consider the following statement with respect to IPC that is Indian Penal Code Indian Penal Code is the official crime code of India the statement is correct then, it came into force in Britain, India during the early British Raj period in 1862. This is also right. It was automatically applied to princely states in 1862. Remember, in princely states, they had their own courts and legal systems. Therefore, till 1940s, this code was not applicable to the princely sir. So, this is not the right one. So, which of the statements given above is not correct is the one which you are trying to ask. Which is not correct? It is C. The terms WIS, what is WIS? It is water in salt. And what is WIBS? That is water in basalt electrolyte. So these two are the electrolytes that has been newly found by the scientists or the researchers. See what used to happen. The lithium ion batteries are built with the flammable and combustible materials. So easily it used to get fired. Okay, so now to make it get rid of flammable and the toxic and highly reactive solvents present in the lithium ion battery, a safe, powerful alternate that is WIS and WIBS electrolytes have been found. Consider the following statement that is public financial management system portal is an online portal developed and implemented by Controller General of Accounts under Union Ministry of Finance. So, the statement is correct. And the financial uh, public finance management system portal is used to make direct payments to the beneficiaries of government schemes. See, for example, in the direct benefit transfer, whenever we are transferring the subsidies, we will directly pay to their accounts. So, this portal is used for simplifying the procedure. So, therefore, answer statement 1 and 2 are correct. The answer is C. Swaz, Star and Suffolk launched by CSIR which are recently in news are related to the green crackers. See this CSIR NERI formulation of the green crackers has no barium nitrate which is the one of the key ingredient in the traditional firecrackers. So remember which is not present it is barium nitrate. And what is Swaz? Swaz is safe water releaser. Suffolk is uh, safe minimal aluminium and star is nothing but safe thermite cracker. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding automatic exchange of information. See, it reduces the possibility of tax evasion. Yes. Then, recently for the first time, India has received details from the Switzerland under e EOI framework. This is also correct. So, statement 1 and 2 are correct. So, both 
C is the answer. See, this is a new global standard that is being developed to reduce the possibility of tax evasion. According to this, they will, uh, it provides for the exchange of non-resident financial account information with the tax authorities in the account holders country of residence. So as already discussed, auto AEIO provides for the exchange of non-resident financial account information with the tax authorities in the account holders country. Say for example, A is in India and he has deposited a money in Switzerland. Then Switzerland under this AEIO agreement will automatically pass on the information of A to the host country or the country of residence. Next question, putting in place a speedier approval mechanism, Competition Commission has introduced a green channel route. So what is this green channel route? This green channel route will give a faster clear, uh, clearances or approval for the certain categories of mergers and acquisitions. So answer is B. The next question regarding the Santnami rebellion. See, the Santnamis are a sect comprising of peasants, artisans and untouchables which rebel against the mighty Mughal ruler. Yes, this is correct. So, remember, the Santnamis, um, they were a monotheistic sect who followed neither Hinduism nor Islam. They just emphasized on living based on a good conduct rather than on the rituals and dogma. Therefore, the statement 1 and 2 both are correct. So, answer is Wetland status was given to which of the following lakes recently? It was to the Sukna Lake. It was given by the Chandigarh administration under the Wetland Conservation and Management Rule. So, this where is the Sukna Lake? It is in Chandigarh. It is at the foothills of Himalayas. It is famous for the migratory birds like Siberian duck, storks and crane. Next question. Which of the following states recently organized the country's first training and performance program of world famous Khan Ramlila? Khan Ramlila is a list is in the list of UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage. It is from Thailand. See, in this basically, it involves a masked dance that depicts the scene of Ramlila. Here, there will be no dialogue and the background voices will only narrate the story of the Ramayana. Recently, the government of Uttar Pradesh arranged this training program. Let's move on to the next question. Tulagi Highland, seen in news, is recently located in which of the following oceans? So, the answer is it is in the Pacific Ocean. So why is this a news? Recently, China is leasing an entire Pacific Highland named Tulagi to the a private company. So therefore, there is a wide, worldwide concerns regarding this. The last question, the stealth operation that claimed the life of Islamic State leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is Operation Khaila Mulair. Thank you. Hope the series will be helpful. If you can say your replies, based on that, we would improvise this program.